Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to unbox one of these U boxes that I have. And these are the U box Qs, the latest ones out, um, the ones past the MX2. All right, so when we first open it up, we get this starter guide. And this starter guide, as you can see, this is already better than the MX2 starter guide because the MX2 starter guide has no information. All right, then it has a little, it has like a little silkish plastic with what's on all the G boxes when you get them brand new. Let me take that out. And then we see that the G box itself is is shiny black with a clear in the clear G this G does eliminate blue once it is turned on that is the new power signal right to show that the box is on there's no more power sign or signal to the front um, if we compare it to the G box MX2 we would see that the G box MX2 has four USBs three to the sides one to the back um, on the on the Gbox Q, there is only two USBs, so you lose two USBs. You still have an SD slot. The AV slot is still there, but on the Gbox Q, you would see that it is covered. Um, the two-pick method is still valid. I will show you how to do that on another video. Um, the Ethernet, HDMI, and power is still on the Gbox Q, and the digital optical is added all right okay so put that on the side this is the new remote compare this with the old remote it's about twice as small uh, than the mx2's remote um, it's much more sturdy it's more of a harder plastic and the signal on it is much better all right the gbox comes with a HDMI instead of analogs and it carries the same power cord as it did in the part with the MX2. These are some tools you're gonna need to program your G box. Alright, this is just an extender for my 2.4 USB gigahertz um, keyboard and mouse. You can use a compact one or one that's for your computer, it doesn't matter. But I found it to be very helpful. It makes the process much more quickly, much more quicker. As you can see, um, once the video starts and I start to program the box, um, a SD card because a lot of the apps don't, uh, don't have repositories anymore, like the good apps like Mashup and Sports Devil. Therefore, you have to install it manually, and you will need an SD card to install it manually. You can also watch my MX2. Uh, video on the mashup how to install mashup um, you can watch that video that will help you how to install mashup on any app manually the gbox only reads zip files all right okay guys so we have it up on the TV screen we have a 2.4 gigahertz keyboard and mouse hooked up you can do this without the keyboard and mouse but it's good to have it and you want to select your language press right next next I have mine connected by Ethernet um, next next set your date time and so forward next just initial setup and click finish once you're in you would notice that the operating system has changed right where we would see like in the past the <clears throat> like a tablet type setup well they moved it and they focus more on the launcher all right now you, it's still an android device you still have the google play store but things have changed all right so what you want to do you want to make sure your internet is connected by going into settings and make sure one of these are ticked and connected all right go back once it is connected you would go you would go to the media center also take note that you could play this you could you could play videos in 4k it's a new feature the box does go to 4k all right click media center and this would be your XBMC okay so once we're in XBMC 
um, we will do the normal setup go to systems file manager um, add source and put in our sources the sources will be in the link in the description the sources will be in the description below um, and all the suggested apps that I found will work for me so the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash fusion dot xbmc hub dot com press enter name it dot fusion the reason why I name it dot fusion um, is so that once we go looking for the repository itself or the source to download the repositories it will be to the top of the list alright so we press enter we add another source and then we type in another source once again these sources will be inside the description below alright and let's add our last source that's xfinity dot talk dot com dot xfinity alright once the sources are downloaded then we want to go to systems we want to go to add-ons after going to add-ons you want to install from zip go to fusion and then you can down go to the X XBMC repos and you can download the various repositories um, I normally just use fusion for the adult channel uh, however I stop watching porn so yeah alright then we go to the super repo that's SRP but we use helix instead of Gotham because this is running on the Kodi and it's not running on the old XBMC um, Gotham XBMC operating system so you want to use helix alright once you reach in helix you want to go down to the bottom and go into video and then download helix video latest zip alright then you want to go to Xfinity and you want to go to X Unity Talk repositories, right? Once you download those, then you want to go into Get Add Ons and X Unity Talk repository, go down to Video Add Ons, and then you can download the various add ons by installing them, alright? Once again, the names of the the apps that I found to work the best for me will be in the description, so you don't necessarily have to follow or every every click on this video whilst I'm downloading each one. All right, thank you. I have done this a lot, so I know which ones I want. And as you can see, the box is much more quick. Curve. All right. Okay. After we finish X Unity Talk, you want to go to Super Repo Helix. All right. And then go to Video Add-ons. And then you want to download one channel and so forth. Go to the list and look at the apps that you want. Okay, so once you have down, once you would have downloaded all the apps that you are interested in, then you want to go to install from zip and go to SD card one. Go to your folder where your files are. Like I said in, in, in early in this video, the the Gbox Q and the Gbox MX2 they only read zip files, and I've already. I already have a video on how to download mashup and so forth so you just want to go to your folder where your zip files are click it and then you download mashup alright let's do it again SD card 1 that's where I have my mashup app it's a zip file The check out my video on how to download mashup it has the link included in the video 
and then I want to download Sports Devil because Sports Devil isn't a part of any of the repositories online anymore. So you have to manually install it. All right. So download that as well. And then I want to search ITBN because I type, I like to watch a little bit of church. All right. Couldn't find it, so I searched it. Once again, I'll show you how to do that again. You just go into search, and that's where you go. Add-ons, and then search. So let's go back. I like to set my top five before I go into videos. Go to appearance, set settings, appearance, skin, settings, add-ons, uh, homepage video, sub-menu, and then click your favorite five. All right, my favorite five with the prize of iLife for live US channels, Marshall for movies and TV shows, Sports Devil, obviously my TVN, and YouTube. So once we get those out of the way, then we go to videos, and those are the top five, right? Then we want to go to video add ons. I normally set it to thumbnails because I get to see everything in a good view. Once again, this is not all the apps that you could download. This is just the ones that I mainly use. I normally use Masha. Let's test out the movie, make sure it's working properly. Um, and there we go, movie starts. Work with my administration. All right, this is a new Selma movie with Dr. Martin Luther King. May his soul rest in peace. Alright, and as you can see, let me show you how fast it is. As if you haven't noticed already, the speed difference just exiting the program is much faster, it just clicks and moves just like that. All right. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe.